Hi there, Matt Wade here, and today we're going to talk about one of the most popular new features in Microsoft Teams, and that is basically together the large gallery view and together mode within Microsoft Teams meetings. So let's dive right in. The summer of 2020 saw a bunch of new features roll out for Microsoft Teams, especially for the meetings experience in Teams itself, and that includes uh, the much requested large gallery view and uh, the very much a surprise together mode that came out for meetings. So actually, let's just dive right into it. I'll show you how to set that up, make sure that you can use it, uh, and then I'll talk a little bit about the implications and uh, what the requirements are to make sure uh, you can make the most of it when you go forward with it. So if I dive in here, I'm gonna start using Microsoft Teams directly here. I'm on the desktop app in Mac, but this works, works exactly the same way uh, in Windows. Uh, you cannot get this access within the browser, I don't think, because I believe you need the new meeting experience, which is only available in the desktop app for now. The first thing you need to do is make sure that you have the new meeting experience. That is a requirement to be able to move forward and actually get together mode and the large gallery view. So to make sure you have this, go to your, uh, the fa your face in the top right corner of Teams, click on the settings menu, and under the settings menu, click on or uh, it should open up in the general pane. And one of the options is turn on new meeting experience. The new meeting experience is not just about uh, together mode in the large gallery view. It also comes with the pop-out meeting experience and also the uh, ever-present meeting toolbar at the top of that meeting window. So if this is not checked, check it, close this window, uh, close Teams completely, and hey, it can never hurt, restart your computer, then reopen Teams, and you should be good to go. If you do not see this check mark, it's coming soon. It means that uh, the uh, feature has not rolled out yet to your organization. The way that Microsoft rolls out updates to all of Office 365 and Microsoft 365 around the world, it actually kind of works its way out uh, like a ripple. So it takes a little bit of time to get out to everybody. So if you don't see it, hold tight, it will be there soon. If you do see it, check it, and you should be good to go once you restart the app. So I'm gonna close this window, and I'm going to start a Meet Now meeting right now in this channel. So I'm gonna bring this over here. And let's just rename this customer service priorities and let's start. So from here, as I join this meeting, what you're going to see is, you know, typical meeting uh, join experience here. I will now have as a, in a separate window or this new window, uh, this meeting, it's just me as a participant. You won't actually see any additional um, participants here, but I do want to show off this meeting toolbar at the top. The meeting toolbar is important because all the information uh, regarding large gallery view and together mode is in uh, the ellipsis here called more action. So if I click on that, once you have at least five, you have to have at least five people uh, to enable uh, together mode and you need to have at least 10 people to enable large gallery view. Currently gallery view will cover up to nine people, so that's three by three. Uh, large gallery view will cover up to seven by seven people, so that's 49 people. And then together mode, I actually have no idea what the maximum is there. The difference between large gallery and together mode, large gallery view is basically the response to Zoom's gallery view, uh, which has seen enormous success since March and since the COVID pandemic has hit and caused a lot of schools, uh, especially schools, uh, to go remote, where teachers are expecting to see uh, all of their students within you know, each of them from their own webcam uh, set up that way. Together mode uh, is more of a taking advantage of the AI tools that are built into Teams where you can remove the background behind somebody. So it's essentially taking a cutout of each person and putting it into what uh, into a fake background together. So hence together mode. Uh, and what they're using is essentially um, uh, like a, a lecture style hall or like an auditorium is one of the, the uh, graphics. They also have some conference room graphics. Um, how to switch between those is something a little bit further on uh, feature wise. but. Uh, the, the two are actually notably different in sort of the experiences and you kind of have to decide how you want to use those. So just keep in mind though to use large gallery view, you have to have at least 11 people in the meeting, including you, to kick that off because it has to be you in the bottom right, see yourself, plus the nine people plus one more would kick off the reason to have uh, more than a three by three in a meeting. And then together mode is a minimum of five people to kick that off. Now I would definitely keep an eye on these features. They are likely going to get functionality increases, especially 
uh, with Microsoft Ignite, Microsoft's uh, big international annual conference coming up in September 2020. If you're watching this after that conference has happened, make sure to go back and watch some of the videos that they host on demand or check out uh, blog posts or uh, other um, uh, analysis by uh, community members on how to use some of these features. Another thing to take a look at if you haven't before is uh, an ebook that I put together with uh, a Microsoft partner called AvPoint. Uh, this is my rockstar guide to online meetings with Microsoft Teams. You definitely want to check this out because this kind of goes through the entire life cycle of a meeting, uh, regardless of what industry you're in, uh, starting from how to schedule it, how to find the right time to have the meeting, how to prep for the meeting, what an agenda really means. Uh, how to assign people to have roles during the meeting, how to run the meeting, how to facilitate it, how to keep things from being really awkward. That's an important one, I think. Uh, and then how to, uh, how to close it out. You know, uh, assign uh, action items, uh, give out the uh, meeting recording afterwards, uh, all of those types of things. So you can find a link to that in the video description below. And uh, I think it'll help out, uh, especially with being able to share this among you and your uh, colleagues. Uh, because it's it's a really easy to read type of uh, document. There's a nice web page view that you can also host even as a tab within Teams yourself so that other people can, uh, can kind of learn from it. So thanks very much for watching. As always, a like and a subscribe is much appreciated. Have a great time playing around with Together Mode and large gallery view in your Microsoft Teams meeting.